What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Resident Evil Village. I just want to jump right into it. We're playing the side mode, and my favorite part of Village by far, the mercenaries. This has been a staple in Resident Evil for quite a while. Mercenaries started back in Resident Evil 3 and has just continued and evolved throughout the different games. It missed a couple entries, but that's okay, it's back and better than ever. The only character you get to play as in Mercenaries is Ethan. He has a simplified loadout, and you basically get to pick and choose what you want to take into battle, kill enough enemies, keep that timer going, and eventually end after beating all the enemies or, you know, as good enough as you'd like and get a final score. But what changes the mercenaries and what makes it the most fun for me are the power-ups. The power-ups change the entire paradigm of the game. If you want to go full knives out, there are a couple power-ups to help you out with that. If you want to go guns blazing, power-ups help you out with that. The differing power-ups change how you play this game. They're all randomized, so you get a chance to see, oh, maybe I want to do this kind of playthrough this time, or maybe I want to do this this time. A lot of power-ups also have synergy with one another. You can mix and match the different power-ups you can get. And the best part is, the better you do in Mercenaries, the more perks you unlock. Here's how this version of Mercenaries works on paper. As soon as you start, you get to go visit the Duke. He leaves a little bit of ammo for you, so be sure to pick that up. And then you get to choose your loadout. This is where customization is king. For Ethan, he starts out with his pistol, but you don't have to use it. You can immediately sell it and buy a better pistol. You can buy a shotgun, you can buy a rifle. Whatever you think you'll need to kill enemies fast enough, that's what you can choose. After that, it's regular Resident Evil Village affair. You can sell items to get more money to buy more upgrades for the guns you want to use. Mix and match, figure out what's best for you, and just go forward guns blazing or knives blazing if you want to. You'll be visiting him every subsection, so you can buy, sell, do whatever you need to do. Upgrade, you can do what you need to do with the Duke before you jump back into the fray. Every level has two or more sub-stages that you need to go through, and at the end you'll be graded a final score. If you ever want to look at how many points you'll need to get the best scores, there is actually a handy book right in front of the door that shows you how many points you'll need for each rank. These point values differ between normal and hard mode. In normal mode, they are looking for perfection. Because you're having an easier time and you have better loadouts, they're looking for your ability to kill all the enemies and still make it to the exit with plenty of time to spare. This is where you'll learn how to rack up combos, learn where all the enemy placement is, and be able to kill them all with plenty of time left on the clock. The more time that's left, the more points you'll get at the end when you reach the exit. In hard mode, they take a different approach. Hard mode is looking for you surviving till the end. The point values greatly differ, meaning they want you to kill enemies and keep a combo going, but at the same time they also want you to survive because you have a lot less in your arsenal. Along with enemies being spongier in hard mode, the Duke has also reduced the amount of weapons that you can buy from him. Ethan only gets the choice of two extremely powerful weapons with preset stats and no ability to actually fully reload them. What you see is what you get. I guess after you use these weapons, you can sell them back to the Duke, so you can get some of your money back. But use these wisely, you're gonna need them. What I tend to do when trying to go through mercenaries and trying to get the best scores, all of the enemy placement is the same every time you play. So you can tend to find patterns and how the game lays out enemies for you. Some enemies are placed strictly to keep your combo going if you have to go very far away and then come back to a place you've already been. There are also some enemies that spawn after a certain number of enemies die or certain enemies die in a specific spot. More enemies will show up in different areas. So what the game wants you to do is to play the levels over and over and over again and figure out where all the enemies are and kill them all in quick succession, keeping that combo going and going for that max combo. As you get better ranks and better power-ups, this will change your approach and how you play. Killing all the enemies in a stage gets you a huge 50k bonus, and getting a max combo for each section is the easiest way to get that coveted triple S. When you're playing as Ethan, if you beat a stage with at least a B rank, you get extra money permanently at the start of the specific stage you're on. Beating it with an A rank gets you the next stage, so more variety. And beating it with an S gets you a brand new ability. Here's what the ability loadout looks like for you to unlock on every stage, and also what the abilities do. These are almost paramount to getting that coveted Triple S, but I should mention that the Triple S score is mainly for bragging rights. If you beat every stage on normal and on hard difficulty with at least a double S rank, you unlock the LZ Answerer. 
I talked about this in the bonus going over the unlockable weapons, but you're really gonna want this. Now, let's say you're having trouble getting that double S in every stage. At least one double S in every stage, mind you. What are you gonna do if Ethan won't cut it? Because I'll admit, Ethan is kind of a pushover and extremely difficult to get the max ranks in Mercenaries. Well, if you happen to get the Winter's Expansion, this mode becomes 10 times more fun. The Winter's Expansion added two extra stages and three new characters that you get to play as. Chris Redfield, which is unlocked from the very beginning. Heisenberg is unlocked after getting an A rank or above in all normal stages. And Lady Dimitrescu is unlocked after getting an S rank in The Bloody River, one of the new stages. These characters change everything. First of all, it's easier to get a double S in all the hard stages because these characters are overpowered to hell. Another thing is, these new characters get their own power-ups. Each one of these new characters have special abilities that they can purchase from the Duke. Because they have a set arsenal, they need these special abilities in order to keep them alive, especially in hard mode. All the different power-ups are unlocked based on how many S ranks you get on the different stages. For example, Chris, he has a default ability that is unlocked, but if you get one S rank, you get a brand new ability, and so on and so on. All of these apply to Heisenberg and Dimitrescu as well. Get those S ranks, get those brand new abilities, go for that triple S. There is now a separate tab for challenges when doing additional orders. These basically tell you how you get specific power-ups and what you get for getting the different ranks with different characters on the different stages. Only in the Winter's Expansion and additional orders. After beating 25 of these challenges, you unlock the special perks for your weapons in the main story. Also, only in the Winter's Expansion, and this is primarily for if you're good, you'll get this naturally, for getting an S rank on every stage with every character on every difficulty, you unlock a special golden statue showing your achievement per character. This is probably going to take the longest for most people. Most people are just going in for the unlockable weapons and the specialty perks in the main story. Again, this is just for bragging rights, just like Triple S. What I've explained so far is just scratching the surface of Mercenaries. I figured the best way to show off Mercenaries and all of its glory and what mixing and matching power-ups can do, what the different characters are capable of, I figured the best way to do that would be to actually show you. For the rest of the video, me and UDJ are going to be talking over every level with every character, every subsection, and at least going for an S rank. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video, now let's play some Mercenaries! Do you know how many hours I have clocked in this? Well over an hour 30? Uh, a little, little over an hour 30. I'd say about probably... Yeah! 30, 40 hours. <clears throat> uh, I like mercenaries a lot. Especially this mercenaries. Yeah! Because there's a little RNG involved, and it makes it so much fun. Like, is, is something frying in the kitchen? Because all I see is... Get some of that hot sizzle. Wow! So, for the sake of this showcase, we will be showing every stage. Every stage has between two and five segments that you have to go through. And we are going to be shooting for the highest scores possible. And uh, if you saw in the opening, it shows you the difference between normal and hard. Basically, normal mode is be perfect or no triple S for you, no bragging rights. If you're playing hard mode, it basically says survive and we'll give you a good rank. <laughs> So here's Ethan. Ethan was the only character in Mercenaries when it started. Missed opportunity. I'm glad they fixed that. Here's his opening loadout. Pretty good selection. Couple extra handguns, sniper rifle, three shotguns to choose from. I have never bought any other weapons besides this shotgun here and then boost it up to hell. This thing will win you Mercenaries. I'm trying to remember some of the strategies I did, because the only Mercenaries I did in my initial Platinum Trophy run was getting S ranks on all mercenaries, but I yep. kind of forgot some of the strategies I did, because it was also horrible. So what if I told you that mercenaries is not actually the mercenaries of old? It actually turned into a puzzle game. A puzzle game? I freaking love this mercenaries because it's a giant puzzle game! Explain. All the enemies pop up in the exact same places. In fact, the developers laid them out to where you can get a perfect every single time. You can get max combos by remembering where the enemies spawn 
And the best part is, if you have to go to a far off area, they leave you an enemy halfway to your to your new destination to keep your combo going. They thought of it. You can full, you can full combo every single stage because they thought of it that way. At least for this stage. <laughs> oh, every stage, every single stage, you can full combo because it's all laid out in the way to get a full combo. Another fun reason I like this is the power-ups. Power-ups are new to mercenaries. Pick them up and test your luck because uh, you can have so many different abilities. I believe there are 32. So there you have it. Mercenaries is a puzzle roguelite. Mm -hmm. Yo, I love it. This is this is fantastic, guys. Please, if you I know Oh, Ari... Niskel, you've you've done it. You can you can stop now. Nope. Got to keep going. <laughs> I got to keep going. You've you've done enough. All right, go home, sport. Yeah, we're going for the highest rank, if at all possible. So uh, if it says you can go to the goal now, we're not going to the goal now. We're killing everything. Also, yep. I want to show where everything is, so you yourself at home can do a perfect uh, perfect run. Don't you want to leave, Mr. Winters? I mean, Never. you've already gotten all your quota. Four minutes to spare. Why, you could make a cup of coffee in the meantime. I think my favorite thing about going for a full combo is the more you kill in quick succession, the more your timer goes up. I have ended a segment of Mercenaries with 18 minutes still on the clock. God! And it adds so much Whoa! to your score. Oh my god, I love this Mercenaries. Wow! It's so much fun. Oh, it's so much fun. And the best part is, I didn't even play it when Village first came out! I played it when Additional Orders came out! Well, I am glad that the more you have played Resident Evil 8, the more it has just, you know... Enraptured me! In, you, your opinion just seems to grow over time. And it's, it's really heartening to see. It's really, really wholesome. Thing is, had I played Mercenaries when it first came out, I would have given up, because all you get is Ethan to start. And they made Ethan suck! Compared to all the other characters they added, Ethan starts with a pistol. Well, yeah, I mean, you gotta start from somewhere. That's part of the challenge, right? And guess what? He starts with in hard mode, a pistol. Only. Well, that's what makes it hard. I I hate hard mode so much. Oh, it's so it, only with Ethan though. He's the only problem child I've had going through all these ranks. By the way, Ethan. I've also added an Ultra Nightmare mode for the mercenaries if you're interested. Yeah, it's called Hard Mode with Ethan. See, what you do is, uh, I just had McDonald's the other day, and uh, I had the, one of those silverwares, and here, you can have the black plastic knife that they gave me. Yeah, they gave you, they gave you a shitty knife and the opening handgun, which is not that good of a loadout for a character. Not only did they make it a bit easier to get other ranks with the brand new characters, but they also made unlocking the lightsaber easier with additional orders. Oh, they did. You need to get a double S on every stage, normal and hard, one time. A double S. Which means uh. if you get one of the overpowered characters they added to additional orders, easiest <laughs> way to unlock the lightsaber ever. That reminds me of what they did with Resident Evil 4 Remake. Getting the hand cannon, you had to, ah. what, what was it, beat hardcore mode uh, with an S plus or something? Professional. No, prof no prof professional was the cat ears. That's infinite ammo. Then it's Pro professional with an S with no special items. So oh, no special weapons. Or is it just beating professional mode at all? It's well, without special well, weapons. Well, either way, that was like the only way. But now, since they added the, uh, the uh, I think, yet as of yet, incomplete, still, still more to be added, uh, mercenaries mode that they that they threw in. Now you just get an S rank on all that, you get the hand cannon right away. And mm -hmm. then, oh, the rest of the, the achievements become easier. Yeah, they decided to, uh, to harken back to the original RE4 and how to get the hand cannon, which is five stars on every stage with every character. They threw you a bone. And thank God they did. See, I'm okay with making the impossible possible. Because I also did get an S, at least an S, with every character on every stage to get the reward that doesn't give you much of anything. Like, no achievements based around it. It's just for bragging rights. 
the and just to make you feel good about the accomplishments that you had, yeah. and you get to look back at that and go, well, I, I did that. That was me. Yeah. Do you even know what you get for getting an S with everybody? Everybody on every stage? For for this? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't even have the pass yet. Well, you could have done it with Ethan. But that means getting an S with everything. Oh, wait. You must have done that, then. I guess I forgot what it was, then. Uh, you get a gold statue of the character in question. Wow. Cool. You get to look at your stats. It's my, neat. My stat chew? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, this, uh, this one's kind of fun. I like the idea of putting enemies up above to where you actually have to aim and fire. It just has some verticality of things. So because you haven't seen the DLC stages or the DLC characters, this is going to be phenomenal. But right now I'm just getting non-flashbacks. <laughs> oh, me too! Me too! Don't worry! Oh, me too! Fuck this in hardcore! I hate it! I don't like it! So bad. You can quit if you want to. No. I must get a perfect combo. Ah, oh, there. So now that everything's dead, I could just go around and collect things. Uh, that's actually a strategy I employed for some of these stages. If you see power ups, but going for them actually will get rid of your combo. Just kill everything first, and go back, grab your power ups, and then move on. But sometimes you get desperate enough to where those power ups are needed to kill these monsters. Power up will still be there, but the monsters and your combo will not. Yep. If you kill everything, you get a big fat 50k bonus on your score, which is why I go around and kill everything. Because even though, even if my combo gets ruined, that 50k does make a difference. Would you like to be, to uh, get a quadruple S rank, Ethan? There's a quad S. Here, take this blindfold. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Actually, by this point, I probably could. I've memorized where every monster is. <laughs> I'm addicted. How do I get out of this? Stop playing good games. Oh! <laughs> you can't make me. You're gonna play crap shovelware, and you're gonna not like no, it. No, I don't want to play Resident Evil Dead aim. <laughs> Oh, I, lo I love that power-up. Super guard. Now I no longer take damage by guarding. So I was meaning to troll you with it, but I've downloaded Umbrella Core. <laughs> but I haven't touched it yet. Oh, I, I have it's, too. It's, it's just kind of sitting there in my game library on my PS5, like... Yeah, I'm ready when you are. Yeah, what, what, what are you want to do, man? Uh, I'm right here. What do you mean you don't want to play me? Oh, oh, don't! It's it's not a me problem. It is in fact a you problem. Like, I'm I'm worried about t about one of two things. Yeah. The first is that it's gonna be so boring. I'm not even gonna like. It's like, dude, we can't even like talk about it. It's so fucking like borked and just it's, it's whatever. Huh. Or the exact opposite. You don't want, like. You don't want it to be so amazing. Like, dude, it's actual. I, I played in five hours last night. It's it's actually kind of it's it's pretty good. No, please D don't uh, d don't think of impossibilities, friend. I haven't played a you know a online shooter since Black Ops One. You know, I haven't been used to the genre, so it could blow me away. Mm. There's a less than three percent chance of that happening. I was about to say, what what's the percentile on that one? I mean, we can look back on it more fondly now, because, you know, this isn't where Resident Evil was going, it's it's just a weird misstep, because Capcom didn't know what to do, but now they know what to do, so we're good! It's like you tripped going up the stairs, and you hit your knee on the, uh, on the stair above you. Now, you hit your forehead on the railing. Mm. I think that's about what this was. But never, you know, it, it could be a, it could be skipping a step, it could be like... I love this. The shotgun is now so powerful, it kills a crystal beast in a couple shots, plus an explosion. And this is why I choose this shotgun for Ethan. It ruins everything. In the good way. I remember. I think I went we sniper go. rifle for mine. Sniper rifle's good. Uh, it's a little too slow for my taste, which is why I go for the, the third shotgun. It does have the spread, though. Hmm? And that's what I like. But I think, you know, especially for, like, you know, the larger ones, that thing kills in, like, one to two... 
Easy every time. No, it isn't. Oh, yes. It is not easy every time. Easiest well, well, every maybe, time. Well, maybe this one, but heck. heck uh, what? All right. So for the castle, we're going with Chris Redfield. Let's show off the first OP character they added in DLC. I told you not to get involved, Ethan. So I will. So Chris starts out with everything he had during his section, except for one little thing. His fists. His men. His, well, he doesn't have his men. So, not anymore. So They're gone. Particular. He has his new platoon. But uh, he has specialty power-ups that you can buy from the Duke. He also has the target locator that you can buy from the Duke. Maximum three. Don't even worry about upgrading the handgun. I'm just doing it for variety's sake. But you can also upgrade his fists. Which are your bumpers. No, you're upgrading his gloves. So he just slowly takes the glove off and walks up to a lichen and just goes, Challenge you to a duel. You know, I can fill these parts in the knuckles here with shrapnel and poison tree frog venom. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hey, do it up, Duke. Oh, you don't have enough for that. Okay, well, it was an attempt was made. I can only do poison ivy. Don't touch your face. What? Oh. oh! You know, I can give you a salve for that. Uh, okay, well, You don't have enough. I mean, I, all I can do is... It feels is like you caused this, but... Uh, yeah, all, all, I, it's all, right. all I have is just this Vaseline. Alright, so Chris. He has turned into one of my favorite characters to play because he can get so ungodly powerful, it's not even fair to all the monsters. Even in hard mode, I was blazing through the entire levels because of his little gauge there down below. He needs to stop being moody, sad gun boy and start being the fucking boulder-punching Goku soldier he was in 5. And this is what he becomes. That onslaught meter at the bottom only fills when you do physical attacks, so punching enemies with your left hook or your right hook. When you fully upgrade he that- has a rage meter?! His speed and power double! What?! He goes so fast and sh- in, in fact, you even shoot faster too, which makes no logical sense. But, yeah. So, and uh, his special abilities that you can get, uh, I forgot to mention, a lot of abilities are character specific, so you'll see a few of them show up that uh, Chris has that Ethan doesn't. A lot of his have to do with, if you do this, you get more onslaught back. If you reload while punching a dude, you instant reload and get onslaught back. It's ridiculous. So he just becomes an absolute powerhouse. All right. Well, that has certainly reversed my opinion of Chris Redfield quite a bit. Like, I, I started playing with him uh, just you know, a while ago when the LP started, and I was like, okay, Chris is kind of fun. And then I unlocked a few more of the power-ups, and I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah, so now I've unlocked a power-up that actually gives me onslaught when I kill an enemy with a gun. Which, okay, cool. But, so, uh, yeah, here's here's Onslaught. So, my punches do double damage, and I'm going twice as fast. My gun shoots outrageously fast. And the best part is, the if you're doing things that increase your Onslaught normally, it'll add to your meter that you currently have. <laughs> so it doesn't run out as fast. Well, um... Holy shit. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> Having so much fun. 218,000, huh? I think I finished one of these with that score. That's great. I'm telling you, man, killing all the monsters, huge bonus. So, uh, Chris actually does have two special abilities that you can buy from the Duke. I normally never do that because it just increases the power of your fists. And I'll sh I should also mention that Ethan gets a lot of coin bags when he's going through mercenaries. He can find a lot of money that he can pick up. Not in hardcore mode, obviously. But <laughs> when you're playing mercenaries, the three DLC characters, you get gems that you can sell to the Duke. Which is not nearly as much money, so this is how they do the balancing act of overpowered characters versus, you know, what they should be able to get. Does this change things if you've been playing for 30 plus hours? No. <laughs> and by the way, Chris has an auto onslaught power up, which basically means what? if you're doing nothing, you get onslaught. So now, if I literally do anything 
even breathe, I'm getting onslaught you, back. You punch a guy, you, you get the warrior spirit. You you, you 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 bump into a wall, you get more onslaught. You stub your toe, you get more onslaught. The baby cries on planet Earth, you get you you get more onslaught. You look at Ethan Winters, you get onslaught. You oh my god, I already have it back. <laughs> oh my god, this is so great. I almost half expect uh, him to make the uh, Jake Conway or Jake Conway like <laughs> from Ride to Hell. He, he almost does. <laughs> right, Jake what? Conway? I forgot his stupid name. It's fine. It was Jake. literally ten years ago. Wait, was it? Almost. Almost. <laughs> ten years next year. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah, one thing I kind of appreciate, and uh, Capcom, you didn't have to do this, but I'm glad you did. This is the first time we've been able to see how much our damage our weapons do. So you can actually gauge, like, what hurts an enemy more. Obviously, headshots are the way to go for almost every enemy. But, you know, uh, I found out that you can actually deal damage to certain enemies that I didn't know you could damage in that way. Uh, for example, the Soldats, the guys with the drills for hands. You can shoot their legs and it deals damage. I thought you had to hit their big weak point. No, you can shoot their legs and deal about as much damage. Their legs deal just as much damage as the as the weak point? Uh, slightly less. You definitely want to hit that weak point for massive damage. But, yeah, <laughs> you, you can shoot them and kill them that way. I didn't think about a giant enemy crab, though. That would have been something. <laughs> we'll get to Heisenberg, don't worry. <laughs> he's, a, he's a riot. <laughs> Alright, now that everything's dead in there, let's head out to the courtyard where more enemies are showing up. Keep that combo going. There we go. I have problems with this part. Oh, where you have to go outside. This, this area in particular. Mm -hmm. Because there's some buggers out in the gardens oh, yeah. that are hiding out. Yep. And by the time I find them and attack them, my combo is already run out. Let's see. Blow up, please. Blow up, please. Blow up, please. There we go. Uh, ah! Please. You do not damage Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield damages you! Oh, we've been damaged! <laughs> <laughs> now, I should note that a lot of these enemies are... They have less hit points than they do in Village itself. That's why it felt so easy. Yeah. So if they're dying, th there's a reason for that. But if you're playing on hard mode, they have the same amount of hit points <laughs> as the normal game! Of course! Sometimes more. Of course! They're just spongier overall, and it's a absolute nightmare. Anyway, we got all the enemies, so let's get out of here. Jesus Christ. Ooh, that's a nice score. Yeah. Yeah, I, I finished with that score. <laughs> you're about halfway done. You're, you're gonna see scores that go over a million. I'm gonna see scores and scores of scores! Yeah, you're, you're gonna see a lot. I'm gonna see a lot of numbers. It's like, oh god, I can't even fathom! I didn't know it went that high. Uh, for the sake How of on earth do you get 52 factorial points? Because I'm that good. Jeez! Oh, Alright. Oh, uh, another thing I'll mention about Chris is his punches. If you use the left hook, it actually counts as just... Let's, let's factor in that a left hook counts as basically a bullet from your handgun. Deals damage... <laughs> It's not actually shooting bullets with his fingertips or anything like that, but it's the equivalent of damage. It is it is a punch that can move boulders. <laughs> but the best part is, his haymaker and his right hand stuns enemies. You can stun soldats with that right hook. Ah, uh, it's great. Yeah, the soldat whose nervous system has been replaced with copper wire you, still goes... You, oh! You, you punch the shit oh, out of that. Oh! Punch the shit out of that. Oh, God! Oh! Ah! Oh. There we go. Now I take less damage because my skin's been replaced with metal. What? I got a, a power-up called Thick Skin. Not actually metal. So I'm just a thicker boy. Thick Skin. Now he can take the ribbing from his man. Thick Redfield. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hey, we got a daughter! What's up, girl? You're about to die. You're gone. <laughs> Open the window to kill him, huh? You ever thought about shooting him a bunch? <laughs> you ever thought about just shooting the gal right in the face? Yeah. Leon be like, you ever think of a can of raid? <laughs> oh, hey, another! 
Sweet. <laughs> all right, bring it on. Let's keep the combo going. Yeah. You've killed all my daughters in the span of a minute and a half. It, it's all right. They, they came after me. How is she outside? Yeah, uh, just... To just take all the normality of Resident Evil Village and just toss it out the window. You're gonna you're gonna see logic that makes no sense in this one. Oh yeah, I, I just keep thinking of all the weird things that happen in the DLC stages that you haven't seen yet. I mean, I mean, I've played all the just the regular mercenaries. Yep. Uh, let's just say they had fun with the late with the later stages. I like it when they have fun. Ooh, adrenaline. Now we gain health back for shooting with a gun. <laughs> there we go. Heal me. Heal me. So now he's fucking Wolverine. Exactly. He can't be stopped. At this point, yeah, we're basically invincible. <laughs> he's got adamantium. There we go. We got him. There we, we we did it. Awesome. We did it. <laughs> It's still going. There we go, we got him. <laughs> got him. Yes. Look at all the power. You know, I want to bet that when Chris Redfield first came here, this is kind of what he did. Mm -hmm. Like, like you know, before he was kidnapped, you know, he kidnapped, kidnapped Rose and, you know, yeah, killed yeah. Mia. He was just running through the castle, just blasting. So Duke was going to be a bad guy, but then he saw what Chris was doing. It's like, you know, I better stay on his good side if I want to get out of this alive. Maybe I'll sell him the ability to have a mean right hook. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you. Um, I've got a cliff bar. How much? <laughs> well, well, you can't make a purchase. <laughs> he said with the sweat going down his brow. Can't make a purchase. Uh, it's um, uh, it's, it's a seventy percent off. And dead. She's gone already. That's the power of onslaught. You do so much damage as this boulder punching asshole. It's great. Uh oh. So that was supposed to be the last enemy around this place. I missed one. Oh no! Yeah, where is he? You're gonna ruin your combo! He's probably down here. Reset! He's down here. There he is! There we go. Full combo. Oh. 216,000 for a full combo, by the way. Well, that's gonna kill your time because you're, you're twice in those seconds. Yeah, so. Enjoy uh, your double S, jerkwad. So, how, how much do I get for nine minutes on the clock left? Uh, let, let's see how many points that adds. Uh, this is 272,000, it's fine. Could have been 130,000, but... Cool, over wait, a million. Wait, we're in the fucking millions, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how much did I need? <laughs> oh, over 2 million for a triple S? Well, don't mind if I do. Seeking. Uh, stop, please, I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't need anything to increase my onslaught anymore. It's It's already overpowered and it fully re it regenerates with me doing nothing it's like i'm like i'm a seven-year-old in mercenaries you know doing what he can to you know Choose jump wise. you know jump over the the hoops and on the swings and trying to climb up the ladder in the in the jungle gym it's like wow this is really hard it's really hard they hear you come in there. you know you're like, like, like a 25 year old delinquent just you know doing flips and jumping around and doing fucking parkour over it i was like what and then i push you over <laughs> 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 All right, 54 enemies. Let's kill them all. Uh, this one actually took a while to figure out a proper pathway. Because, uh, enemy spawn... Sometimes enemies spawn after you kill a set number of enemies. Or kill enemies in certain sections. So then you need to figure out, okay, well, what do I need to kill to make these guys spawn? Oh, you're approaching me? Get out of here. I don't think Chris needs a stand. His fists are his stand. You just see a million fists behind him. Oh, hey! Hi, Angie! You have a lot of health. <laughs> I don't want you to have a lot of health. Oh, I remember her. Yep, so she goes to four set places around the castle. There goes my combo, unfortunately, but it's okay. We'll have plenty. That's not triple S, you think? Oh, what is it? Oh, yeah, Chris has a stomp move. So if there's an enemy on the ground, you can just stomp them. One method to actually help you in hardcore mode is literally shooting a guy in the legs, have him stumble, punch him, and then stomp him for a free kill. Dead. So there's four characters in mercenaries mode, right? Correct. 
What if you could, like, pick your character in between sections? You are prophetic. What? You don't get to do that in the main game, but that's what we're doing for the DLC stages. Oh. I did runs with every character for the last two stages, and I took the best runs out of each, and that's what we're going to look at. Because I was thinking Mario Brothers 2. Oh, that would be fun. You know, ba -ba -da -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba it would kind of break things, unfortunately. Oh, sorry, I wouldn't want things to be broken around here. Since you're playing it completely balanced and all that. Uh-huh, absolutely. Yeah, free onslaught when I'm doing nothing, onslaught when I shoot guys in the head, onslaught when I kill things with a gun. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Get out of here. Yeah, it, yeah, except Thanos is holding a scale, and the scale's, like, slumped over to one end. It's like, perfectly balanced. <laughs> uh, uh, sir, that's that's not... Uh-huh. Uh, Mr. Beef Hardsteak, can you please rebalance this? <laughs> Thank you. It is balanced! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we're getting into the ending of this castle segment, and it actually has a very devious, uh, devious enemy placement. There are two birds outside that are missable. If you don't kill them fast enough, they fly away and you miss out on your full combo. They count as two of the enemies to kill? Correct. I knew they were up to no good. Mm-hmm. They are very blue and very easy to see, but if you go too far forward, they are programmed to leave. So, you can probably shoot them from here, but I completely forgot, and that's, there they go. That's right, they do have... Yep, uh, bye. Oh. So there goes a full combo if I was going for it, and there's the other one. So they're just right out here, and uh, if I had given enough time for Angie to actually leave, she would end up out here. So what they want you to do with Angie is basically start her... Uh, start shooting at her, she'll go upstairs, shoot her there, when you're clearing out all the enemies, she'll come out here. So when you're clear clearing out the enemies out here, she'll move to her fourth spot, which is still outside, and then she should be the last thing you kill in a normal run. This is not a normal run, because Chris is overpowered. That's how Ethan was supposed to do it. Yeah. yeah. But now everyone who, like, knows how to do things in this game is like, shove over, boy. Let's go. I'll show you how it's done. I will say, before I figured out uh, the trick to Chris and Onslaught and everything, uh, that's how I did it, was I killed Angie last. By the way, I still have a target locator. And there's an armored enemy. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Is that a laser pointer? What are you going to do with that? Ah! Target locator is actually more powerful here in Mercenaries, by the way. It, it went so fast. It kills everything in the surrounding area. In an area of effect. So, yeah. Very powerful. I'm still missing an enemy. He's probably lumbering around in the castle. So let me show you. There's some extra time down here, but this is also where the armored enemy was. So if you have the means to kill him down here, you just get a free time bonus. Otherwise, you can just wait for him to come to you. Oh, there he is! Look at you! Oh. Yay! Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, 12 minutes left on the clock. Let's see how many points I got. 12 and a half. Let's see. Doot, doot, doot. Ooh, I don't think that's enough for triple S. No, it wasn't. All right, so I did need the bird. Oh, wow. Huh. Neat. Well, I am thoroughly disappointed. Yeah, me too. Let's play with Heisenberg. Ooh, okay. We're going to his factory. There are two segments here, but this is probably one of the harder levels for any character to play. <laughs> Heisenberg, hi. Hi. You've got some fun weapons to play around with. So if you're playing in Hello. normal mode... Hello! <laughs> if you're playing in normal mode... Heisenberg comes equipped with his hammer, scrap metal, a saw blade, and a soldat jet. The way they balance this in hard mode is they get rid of the soldat jet. You have to buy it from the Duke. Uh. The scrap metal, consider that your projectile. The saw blade is another projectile, but it does piercing damage. It can go through enemies. Fatality. Flawless <laughs> victory. And then the Soldat Jet is exactly what you think. This is basically a, I need something dead quick, let me put one of these guys down and they'll go into a, a suicide bomb, basically. Really fun. But another thing about Heisenberg and the DLC characters is their opening cash flow. They get money and something that helps strictly them. So he gets a flash grenade and money when Ethan and Chris get ammo. Is that my cigar? Yeah, I stole it from you. Hope you don't mind. Nice statues. 
I made them myself. Oh, thanks, Duke. You're welcome. You really got my good side. All right, so uh, I don't use flash grenades with Heisenberg, but here are his power-ups. Hammer swing speed increases. You always want to get that first. You don't flinch when you uh, get hit while using your hammer. Is it going to do it like... Is it gonna swing that hammer so fast as like it's the hammer from Donkey Kong? Not ridiculously. No. More. Not ridiculously. <sighs> Zero out of ten. Heisenberg's playstyle is bringing enemies close. He's a close quarters fighter, but with those different projectiles, he can become so much more fun. Well, I can't wait to see this. Y you gotta see this. Hopefully this will be the convincing factor to have you get the DLC and try him for yourself. Because I, I did not like this level. This level sucks. I, I'm, I'm going to be perfectly clear. It is dark, just like the factory was itself. There are difficult enemies all over the place. But Heisenberg, since this is his territory, this place is his bitch. <laughs> he destroys the factory. <laughs> he is so overpowered when it comes to this level, it's actually ridiculous. Everybody else has a hard time in this level, not him. So, while holding down the X button, you can actually create a magnetic field, and if anybody's caught in that, he shoots a piece of scrap metal that pulls them towards him. So you can do close quarters damage. It decreases your speed by half. But that's perfectly fine, because everything has to come to you in order to get all the damage. So, yeah. You, really good. What do you think the story reason is for why Heisenberg is destroying his own factory? A coup. A coup? Yeah. But he owns the factory. Yeah, but everybody's rebelling against him. Oh, so he's, like, defending his territory. Yeah, these are his employees. Well, fine, I'll just do my original idea and make a Gundam with your spare parts. Exactly. Alright, so, projectiles, they still do anything just like a bullet can. Uh, when it comes to the different soldats that come after you, a joke. <laughs> Instantly dead when you shoot a soldat jet at him. But not only that... He does so much close quarters damage, and the hammer is perfectly aligned with their weak point, you just kill him in a few shots. That's how I made him like that. Not only that, but when you're in the magnetic field, you get double the charge on your hammer. When your hammer is fully charged, it does extra damage and can deal a huge area of effect slam into the ground. Heisenberg is so powerful! This is what I wanted! You have the power of a lord at your disposal. Hey. Mm. Boom. Get out of here. That was 8,000 damage. <laughs> so, the saw blade. Saw blade's really cool. As I said, it goes through enemies. If you it's have unlimited projectiles? No. Or uh, yeah, yeah, unlimited, sorry. Wow. Yeah. Well, we don't want him to run out. That would just be maddening. But your jet is cool now, right? Your jet has cooldown, yes. Okay. And in fact, um, in hard mode, there is actually a uh, power-up you can buy from the Duke that decreases the cooldown time for the jet. Specifically for hardcore mode, because you need it. Oh. Cool. Oh, hey. Smashy, smashy. Come here. Dead. That's how much the charge is doing in the hammer. It's ridiculous. Wait, where'd he go? Okay, maybe it's, it maybe it's not a coup. Maybe he's, like, pissed off. He's looking for Ethan right now. Oh, maybe. Where is he? I threw him in the basement. He's somewhere! <laughs> this is him smashing and crashing his own factory, looking for the person he, he let down here. Ethan! <laughs> where are you at, Winters? Uh-oh. Ah! Hey! Hey, hey. None of that. So I guess the one thing that hurts a full combo run is the animations for getting hurt. They take forever. Right, because they grab onto you, they gotta mug at the camera, they gotta say, mm -hmm. hey, guess what? I'm gonna be biting you in the shoulder now. There are some animations that take about seven to eight seconds, and when your full combo goes away in about 15, 20, that's, that's pretty damning. Yeah, I especially hate the animation where you get hit by an enemy and then like he grabs in the shoulder and then you guys do like a secret handshake and all that huh? and then he kind of switches. Uh, you know, he gives bit. you a high five and is then just he, on the uh, way out. Then he gives the Gettysburg address and then he bites your shoulder. Yeah, it's just... reads War and Peace a couple times. For I you. I just reset when that happens. Yeah, it, I think the thing that pissed me off the most, especially when I was you know getting heated gamer moments, 
was uh, when you die, you have to watch that animation. You can't pause and reset when you know you're dead. <laughs> By the way, the daughters are dead. <laughs> all three of them show up in that in that corridor. And I told you, stay out of my factory. Yeah, they're all fucking dead already. <laughs> all right, let's see. What else can we do? Oh, when H when uh, enemies HP is full, it does the initial attack does extra damage. There is actually a sister ability to go along with that, where if an enemy has 30% or 30 uh, health or less, it deals extra damage. So, uh, yeah, a lot of these have synergy, and uh, that's what makes it so fun for me, is when you find the right synergy, oh my lord, you are overpowered. It's a roguelite, you see? I love it. Give me more. Oh, hey! Let's see what we can do with this guy. Hey, Electromagnetic, get rid of all his armor! <laughs> this enemy used to be a threat, but with Heisenberg, he's a joke. He didn't even have a chance to attack! Correct! That's how powerful he is against his own army. I love it! He basically told him to get over here, and then you hit him with Shao Kahn's hammer until he exploded. Oh, hi, Sturm. We have a present for you. You're dead already. 54... The Soldat Jet goes through enemies and hits any weak points that there might be. So Heisenberg has a stand. Yeah, the it's Soldat the, Jet. It's the jet. <laughs> I love it. So uh, I'm actually glad that Sturm is in here as kind of like a, a mini-boss. Just because he used to be so hard in the main game, and it, uh, obviously his health points have gone down a lot. Uh, you basically move to the side, Toro Bull and then you hit him in his weak, spo weak spot in the back. Depending on which item you have, it can take one to two shots to kill him. Well, that was impressive. Thanks. By the way, I picked up an ability that makes the saw blade ricochet. Oh, no. If you're in close quarters, that's a godsend. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You need me to make you even more powerful? Maybe, Duke. Maybe. We only have one more stage, so. Oh, no! I have a thermonuclear missile if you want that! <gasps> oh! If you want, I can give you steroids! The kinds that don't show up on drug tests! That's great! Thanks, Duke! Oh, I can also give you a third arm! Oh, no uh, problem there! <laughs> I did it myself! Exactly, <laughs> so, yeah. It's alright. Robotic arm! <laughs> Made of scrap metal! Uh, one thing I'll mention for a hard mode run with Heisenberg... You want projectile strength. Because you're going to be dealing with a lot of enemies far away, so you want to make sure they die when you shoot you know, a full combo at them. Another thing I like to upgrade is the electric charge. Some things charge faster when you're in your magnetic field. So that's a way to get shots off quick and kills off quick. This second half is so fucking mean. It's ridiculous. Like, you have soldats all over the place that don't have their armor anymore, which means they go into, like, a berserker state. And they just they just deal damage. For free. And... Out of here. So, I should also mention that none of the DLC characters have healing items. I suppose I should have mentioned that before. Well, do you need it? Yes and no. If you're playing a hard, mo a hard mode run... The Duke actually has the ability to buy something called Gruesome Gourmet, which gets you health back with every kill you get. There are also a few other abilities that will heal you, and those are really good for uh, your different hardcore runs. Does so, Chris not have any healing items? No, he has no healing items. He is just powerful. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess he doesn't need because he's fucking Goku, I guess. Yeah, he does get a... F uh, I believe he gets... Uh, yeah, same with all the other characters uh, in hardcore mode. He gets the ability to buy abilities that give him health back. But no, he's, he's, he's pretty set. I gotta say, the catharsis behind this is absolutely brilliant. And this is why I have 30-plus hours in this game. Uh-huh. My just, lord. Just playing as him it just makes it all worth... I, I could do this all day. Yeah. I understand the thirst behind him now. Oh, what's that? Healing hammer. Small amount of health back when you attack with a hammer. Oh, what's that? More electric charge when three or more enemies are hit by an electric shock? Awesome! These power-ups are... Look, stupid. can we just talk about... Okay, never mind. Yep, nope. Nope. Yeah, so this uh, this level kind of went ridiculous with all the soldats they actually throw at you, but thankfully you have the electric field, which you can just pull them towards you easy every time. I think I missed a power-up. 
Yes, I did. There's power up up there. Let's make sure something dies. There we go. Oh, it's gonna uh, be you. I, I will I say won't. Heisenberg does have a guard. He basically takes a bunch of scrap metal and puts it around himself like a cocoon. <laughs> it's pretty funny. This is my safe space. I use it to think and be myself. Oh, electromagnetic boost? Hell yeah! So now, everything that has to charge, it'll charge faster in the electromagnetic field. He's so fast, it's like... It's like we're playing a boomer shooter. Yeah, that's actually from one of the power-ups I picked up. Speed is your friend. Here in this... In this, uh... Gameplay, especially in hardcore mode. If you're fast, you can avoid enemy attacks because enemies are twice as fast. I wonder why Moreau wasn't a DLC character. Well, I guess we'll never find out. Like, maybe he could, like... I don't know, you could, you, you of course, play it as, as his hunchback self, you know, and all that. And then he can, like, you know, vomit on the floor. <laughs> yeah, pr as, pretty, as, pretty as gross. Does. And then he kind of, like, gets those tendrils coming out of his back. Then he kind of dives into his vomit. He swims around in it. Ew. And yeah, then he do kinda, not want. Then he kind of, like, jumps out, vomits on the floor some more into that puddle. He jumps into that puddle, swims around in that, you know? Not a fan. So it would be, like, Resident Evil Splatoon or something. So I don't know if you saw that, but uh, sometimes when you summon a Soldat Jet, sometimes you summon Sturm. Ooh. And that just that just kills. That just kills a lot of things. It stays on screen for longer. It's, it's pretty great. No, not you, Sturm, you stupid idiot. Shut your fucking hole! <laughs> Oh, didn't kill. Oh, there we go. Killed. I lost my combo somewhere, and that's unfortunate, but uh, hopefully we'll have enough for at least an S. Um... I just want to... Ow. I just want to show off an S. There we go. We're good. Oh, you're showing off an S, all right, and it's right here, the points of himself. Hey! Hey! Triple S material right here. I'm like the quintuple S. <laughs> S is all around. They gotta have, like, a different uh, letter to represent how good I am. Ooh, we're even faster now. Four, four H. And here's the last of the enemies. They're all inside your office. Kill them all. So, sir, we have an inquiry. Oh. There we go. That's everyone. Yay. Complete. Complete. Ooh, I think that's not enough for triple S. Oh, just an S. Okay. Uh. Just enough for an S. Sorry about that. That's all right. That. I'm so sorry. Because now we're getting to my favorite character. Huh. Lady Dimitrescu. We're playing on Mad Village. This is a fun one. So how can she be your favorite when Heisenberg is like... Well, I mean, all the DLC characters are kind of incredible. You'll see. I guess I will see. She's twice as tall. So that's great. Which means you need to crouch under small doorways. It, oh, oops. Capcom, why'd you put that in there? Well... Well, I mean, that's how it is, you know. She has her sharp nails as her uh, different attacks. You can use the left and right bumper in order to do that. I offer satisfactory pedicure service. She has special wine. This Manicure, is her healing I mean. item. She actually does get a healing item. But it takes forever for her to actually heal. There is... She basically has to, you know, aerate it a little bit and then take a sip. Okay. She has vanities! Just gotta aerate it, put it in the glass, you know, have a seat, cut some fine cheese to go with it, you know, you know, just let it sit on the palate, you know, <sighs> moan a little bit. By the way, you throw vanities. They took that one scene where she throws a vanity and turned it into an attack. It's like, oh, we gotta, we gotta give her one more attack. What's another thing she does? Oh, she throws a table. Yep. Okay, do no it. Yep. Her projectile so you're telling is me, the swarm. So you're telling me that one of her powers is flipping a table? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh how lovely so she also has a gauge called thrill <laughs> and uh when you increase your thrill you can use your different attacks you can use your vanity you can use uh more projectiles at the same time so what i do when i'm playing dimitrescu is i increase thrill value on everything i have a little bit extra on the insect swarm because i want things to die but there's one other small attack that she has, which is pretty great. You can slam enemies on the ground for an instant kill. <laughs> Certain enemies. There's also this. Use your special lipstick, get thrill. A good deal, if I say so myself. This statue's taller than me. What the hell? Well, it's, it's on a pedestal. 
Uh, on a pedestal on a pedestal. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Let's see what D Lady D can do. We got five stages with her. Here we go. Jesus. Lady, Lady D is very slow. <laughs> I feel like I'm on daddy's shoulders. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> There's a bird that spawns up here. That's your first enemy that you should take out. If it ever spawns. Oh, there it is. So there's your insect swarm. Oh, jeez! It goes all over the place, and if it's triggered on a specific enemy, the swarm will keep attacking the enemy until the enemy's dead. They do a lot of damage, especially when you upgrade them. Her slash has actually got pretty good range. Also, if you hold down both buttons, she can do, like, a cross slash, which is pretty neat. So what was that about Wolverine I said earlier? Everyone's Wolverine. Every, every Wolverine. Every, except Ethan, he's not Wolverine. That's right. Also, a lot of the uh, a lot of the stages have been adjusted for her height, so there's a hole in the wall so she can actually get into the house easier. <laughs> but uh, the power of Thrill, let me tell you about it. When you increase it to a certain amount, you can use the vanity power. So that's pretty nice. It's based on a cooldown as well as getting your Thrill up. But not only that, if you get your Thrill up high enough... <laughs> You can summon one of your daughters to help you. Ooh. This is too overpowered, guys. Because while you're attacking something on the other side of the room, one of your daughters are taking things out in droves. They deal about as much attack as you can do, and maybe a little more, and they stay for as long as that cooldown goes. Yeah, but that could clear up the room, and that could mess up your combo if you're... Uh... Precisely, oh, which means you have to be careful. Although, this is the slam. What the <laughs> That's the slam, by the way. That was an instant kill. Oh, I waited years to see that! Yeah, so that- Fuck that enemy! That's awesome. <laughs> it works for pretty much every enemy. If the enemy's too big, obviously you can't do it. But I'm about to show an exception to that rule. After we, uh, you know, get down to it. But yeah, lichens of any shape and size, I, except for, like, Uraeus or something like that. <laughs> you just pick them up and kill them. I think my favorite part is, when you slam them on the ground, the shockwave actually hurts other enemies around them. <laughs> she just daintily picks up, yep. like, guess and... what? <laughs> you don't have a life anymore. Gone. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's like, I like how your spine and brain are, are connected. <laughs> not yeah, anymore! Not anymore. <laughs> uh, another thing about Lady D, she actually does, cannot be grabbed by enemies, so she can't. she doesn't have the stun or anything. <laughs> Which is pretty nice, but she can get hurt. She can be killed. It's happened plenty of times. You see that gigantic zombie there? Oh, I mean, uh, ordinary size, about our, our height? Uh -huh. Yeah, you can pick it up. <laughs> you can probably kill it. Oh! Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Jeez! Just pick that shit up and kill it just immediately. Oh, that's great. Do you get points for hitting things? Uh, yes. You get points for hitting things with other enemies. Uh, actually, I... I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. What I mean is, like, if you, you you choke slam that big enemy, yeah, did you take a point to hit because you didn't like hit it enough times, or does that count for anything? Oh no, it still counts towards your score or positively. It, or is it just based on kills? Just based on kills. Okay. Yeah the the numbers you're seeing are actually just how much damage you're doing. Ah uh, yes. Wake up, dude! <laughs> I'm, I'm here. All right, so there is a... Oh, yeah, there we go. Power and thrill greatly increased when slamming an enemy into the ground. That's great. Now, uh, let's see. What else can we do? Come on and slam! And welcome to the jam! I will say Lady D is probably the most beginner-friendly of all the uh, of all the characters. Good day. Then. I forgot to sell things. That's all right. We'll do it later. You know, uh, she has to be, she has to be beginner-friendly. So that way all of her sims can play. Oh, hey, a troll! Oh, that's cool. Let me go ahead and use some lipstick. Oh, yeah, that's great. All right, let's uh, go ahead and send a swarm over there. And let's see how quickly we can get a daughter out here. Oh, immediately! Okay, cool. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, okay. Let's see, who, who can we summon? Hey, Cassandra! Need some help! Oh, cool, she killed the troll for me. <laughs> she can also kill enemies in the sky! Holy shit! And that's about the quickest way you can kill those enemies, is because they're so high in the sky. Let's see, there's more enemies coming the other way. This one's actually kind of hard to keep a combo going. We can still do it, though. It just yeah, you just fuck them up. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Who cares? Who gives a shit? Just like, kill them all. Like, there's no wind up. There's not like, you know, it's, it's just table! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, pick those guys up. Kill them instantly, too. Yeah, that's great. Yep, yeah, pick them up. Kill them. There we go. They're gone. Fantastic. 
All right, let me go ahead and get another power up just so we can increase the fun value. Let's see. Oh, th thrilling quick step. Speed increases, and it's even faster if you have the thrill gauge full. Nice. But also, blood sacrifice. The cooldown for your daughters decreases every time you kill an enemy. Please. <laughs> this is too much fun. Get out of here with that. If you'd like, I could give you a challenge at any time. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. I'd like to have normal mode fun, please. Are you sure? Greatly I mean... appreciated. Okay. Especially with this part. This part is ungodly hard in hard mode for any character, because these lichens are dead eyes. They increase their AI in hard mode, so they can hit you from eons away. I mean, you're also nine feet tall. You're not that hard to hit. Well, I'm talking like even Ethan, even Heisenberg, even Chris. They get headshotted every time and go straight to danger. All right, uh, we need an increase in thrill, so how about we do, uh... uh actually, how much does the vanity do? Okay, cool. <laughs> An another, cool th another cool thing you can do, because these guys can't be grabbed and slammed, if you use the slam command, you can actually run past enemies and avoid danger. So that's kind of cool. So you have iframes when you slam. Uh, you have iframes when you're running. I believe they can still hit you if you're uh, if you're slamming guys into the ground, but I I think you do have iframes actually. Yeah, that doesn't look like it'd be easily interrupted. Mm -mm. I feel like it break flow too, especially when there's like eight million things. Let's see. Where's... Well, okay, thirty-one things. Oh, more damage for the swarms? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, okay. Entomophobia, I believe, this fear of bugs. Thank you, ma'am. See you in a bit. Two stages down. Or two pieces down. Jeez. Three more to go. This score is going to go high into the stratosphere. Oh, more lipstick? Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Straight from Revlon. God, I love playing mercenaries. Yeah, that's so much fun. So, now you can see why when I posted on Discord, I love mercenaries. And you actually asked, you're kidding, right? No. No, I'm having a great time. Well, I didn't realize it was the DLC characters that made the difference, and... Well, that actually made it playable? Yeah. Well, I mean... <laughs> I feel proud of the ranks that I got with no, Ethan you when it was vanilla. You did some of the hardest things that the game is asking you for to get that platinum. <sighs> well, I mean... So, g congratulations. You fully deserve I what you got. I gotta get it for the PS5 now. Because I got the PS4 platinum, and I gotta get the other one. <laughs> Not everything gotta, carried gotta over. do it all again. <laughs> Well, with the DLC, I think it'd be possible. Uh-huh. And also, you can get some, like, easy trophies with the Shadows of Rose DLC and all that. You can play it all, beat it in two hours, and there you go. Oh. Hello. Ooh. Goodbye. It, oh, so, I guess, if, if you want to look for disadvantages of playing Lady D, because she's so big, she gets caught on things, especially uh, <laughs> d different uh, pieces of uh, scenery. There we go, now we're- She hates walks in the forest because she always- <laughs> oh, 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 God! <laughs> Calls on the daughters to, oh. to trim all the branches. Yeah, I believe they called back her actress for just a couple voice lines. Because she is, uh, she's saying things that she never said to Ethan. Basically, uh, proclaiming how awesome she is. <laughs> I am so cool! On your knees. Hey, vanity, die! <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, slash him out of the sky. It's okay, just get rid of him. Nothing can stop my invincible soul to a table? <laughs> really? Now I'm, just Fuck. now I'm just thinking of table! <laughs> table, 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 table! Table! <laughs> ah, I still got him! Oh, uh, but my com combo got ruined. That sucks. That's okay, though. Slash you out of the sky. Get out of here. Ooh. Lovely uh, glass of wine there. Let's see. Yeah, it's a glass of wine she can enjoy. She just takes her vanity and just <coughs> puts it there and just, you know. Precisely. Oh. Ah, very good. Very good. Aerated and everything. Alright, so, uh, you might notice this is a bit reused from another level, but that's okay, because we're actually heading into the stronghold to kill enemies. First and foremost, ever since Resident Evil 4, the gameplay is what matters. Yes. And I'm glad they found a way to advance mercenaries. This isn't a step back. And looking at this compared to bringing back RE4's mercenaries, 
Ari Ford's Mercenaries is a step back. I hate to admit, but there is more here than there is in the Mercenaries they brought back for 4 Remake. Is there dynamite in Resi in uh, Village Mercenaries? I mean, there's red barrels that you can explode. Is there dynamite that you can set down yourself? You're throwing vanities. You're throwing dynamite! You're summoning daughters. Infinite dynamite from your back pocket! <laughs> Fuck it, throw a vanity, kill it immediately! <laughs> it was charging up for an attack? No! Kill it! Besides, we all know it's gonna be a gold edition oh. Resident Evil. Oh, I love this. We. Oh! How in the world? I don't know! But that's the only way over Oh, here. my knees! Ooh! Exactly! <laughs> oh, my ankles! It hurts. Maybe she, like, tucked in herself. Oh, possibly. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, kill? There we go. Okay, cool. There was one run where uh, the Soldat's AI got kind of confused, and for whatever reason, it kept jumping off the platform, <laughs> jumping back on, jumping off, and it was hard to keep my combo going. Pr pretty lady! <laughs> or, pretty lady! <laughs> there we go, over a million. Neat. Hi, Duke. Hello. Stop pulling Hello. a wedge. I'm here. Yes, a wedge. That's what I was doing. He Hello! <laughs> That was an itch on my ass I had to deal with. Uh -huh. Increase my table. <laughs> it just adds extra shelves to make it more powerful. If I, say so myself. I can put little uh, decorative horns on the corners. <gasps> that would deal more damage. I can take off the... Uh... The tennis balls on the bottom to keep it from scraping on the floor. Perfect. Scrape their floors. These hands are more dexterous than one. How about if I put a brick into the dresser drawer? <laughs> a brick in every drawer. Every time you add a drawer, you can add another brick. Please come again. So part of the meta of mercenaries is the money you have at the end adds to your score, but depending on the difficulty, you won't have that money. Trust me, if you're dealing with a run that, you know, you don't have a lot of cash left and you make it to the end, chances are you're okay, score-wise. The money doesn't add too much to your score. Because you kind of need it, especially if you're Ethan. Mm -hmm. I think that's why Ethan gets more money, because he has the least amount of stuff, he, he's able to upgrade more stuff. So here's the thought. Yeah. This vanity is basically the most powerful thing in the game, right? Uh, practically, yeah. Fully upgraded, it's ungodly powerful. I want the ability to throw as many as I want. <laughs> Maybe in Resident Evil 9's Mercenaries. Just, want, just, just throw tables like I throw plates at someone's <laughs> <laughs> Vanity Gatling gun. I mean... We're kind of almost there, because I've increased the power of the vanity so much I might be able to one-shot a troll. We, oh, got, we got the power of fun. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about frequency. I know, I know. But that's the way to balance it. Unfortunately, if you if you had the, you know, the, the machine gun vanity that you, uh, that you so desire, it would be even more broken. But exactly. I, li I like where your head's at. I like where your head's at. Like, like it'd be a triple S on everything. For Lady Dami Teresque. You know, if you get you get triple us on every every stage, you get a special uh, weapon for that character. So you get all S all triple S for Dami Teresque, you get the vanity catling. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear breaking glass everywhere. You know, for for Heisenberg, probably like, you know, uh you know, Mjolnir. Mjolnir yeah, would be good. That's pretty good. I was, I was thinking just like the electromagnetic wave, but your speed doesn't increase just, just or keep, decrease. Just, just keep swinging and lightning bolts shoot out of everything. So all you gotta do is just go around and keep pressing right trigger. Just <laughs> Ethan Winters, probably some sort of infinite hand cannon or, you know, oh, Chicago that'd be fun. sweeper. And uh, for Chris Redfield, he can get a fucking life! He punches the life out of another person and steals their life energy. Ooh, vampirism. Yeah, yeah, vampire Chris. I mean, on the front cover, he's, he looks like half werewolf. I don't know why they didn't go with that angle. I thought that's what they were going for. I, that's what I thought, too! Uh oh Like he like he got caught by Mother Miranda, and it's up to Ethan, but nope, it's a save the daughter story. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Fuck him. <'em. laughs> just throw a van, and they just gently fall backwards. Just... <laughs> 
I mean, I'm like, Pruh! they just, oh, uh, <laughs> timber. <laughs> Ooh, my. Uh, so another cool thing you can do in Mercenaries is you can stack effects. If you see a power-up that you like, and you get it twice, double the effect. Can I keep using that lipstick? Uh, they are limited. You get one every time you visit the Duke. Uh, I believe in Hardcore mode you also get a lipstick every single time. That's a sizable stick of lipstick. Mm -hmm. oh. I, figured, I figured I could, you know... You know, uh, unroll it and put it on my lips. And she uses it and throws it away. Some on my eyes, you know, yeah. more pains, you know, maybe like, you know, some, you know, uh, runes on my forehead and cheeks, maybe, maybe even pig. down my arms. Die, pig. You were an enemy. He, he was? Yeah. Vanity. By the way, I think I have three of the ability Lady Scissor Hands, which just increases how powerful my claws are. So let's see how good it is against this crystal beast. Just had an idea for a missed opportunity, though. What's that? Pig's an enemy, right? Yeah. Why didn't the pig get infected by the Kadu? Who says it isn't? More noticeably so. Like, you know, you just... Yeah, regular pigs, you know. But, but this one... This one just looks at you. And then his face opens up. <laughs> Alright, I think we're on the last stage. Yes, all right. Well, what well, we got here? What's up? What so this can be seen as the hardest part of this level, but it's a joke with every character, honestly. Because <laughs> by the time you get to this point, nothing can stand in your way, whether you are in normal mode or hardcore mode. Especially in hardcore. If you get here when you're in hardcore, you're more than battle ready for this last section. Mother Miranda. Ah, uh, yes. Why do you treat me the same as them? <laughs> Specialty dialogue from Heisenberg and from Dimitrescu. Not to I wonder like, what Heisenberg says. I think he ba he barely says anything, but it is unique dialogue where he just goes, "Huh," or something like that. <laughs> it's barely anything. I'll I'll never go. Thought, never thought I'd get this far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So Dimitrescu is actually so tall that when she, when Miranda is charging her spirit bomb, she immediately knocks her out. Of it. Get back down here! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she pulls her down Looney Tune style. It's so fucking funny every single time. So Mother Miranda's dead, which means I just have to wait for the other enemies to spawn. Uh, Mother Miranda. Uh, um. It, so what's supposed to happen is you're fighting Miranda the entire time, and enemies spawn to keep your multiplier going. But if you kill Miranda fast enough, you're literally just waiting on the other enemies to spawn, so you can get out of here. The, uh, yeah, the, uh, exit shows up when you kill all 20, including Miranda. So, yeah, you're just kind of, you know, big chillin' over here. I like this ending. Takes out Mother Miranda, and she keeps her three daughters, and lives happily ever after in the village. Exactly. Go, Bella. Kadu is, is taken care of, you know, Rose isn't kidnapped or anything, it's, huh? it's all, it's all perfect. Yeah, so I just sent one of my daughters after them, and uh, they do so much goddamn damage. It's so great. Oh, and the best part is, they have eye tracking. So if you go up and say hi, they actually look towards you. Hello, mother! Goodbye! Don't, don't do that, it's weird. <laughs> she actually had, like, the head tilt. It's like, hello, mother. Good score, good score. Outstanding. Damn. Hey! Didn't get the triple. I won't... Oh, because I lost a couple combos in there. Alright, so as mentioned... The Bloody Village and the Bloody River, these levels are going to be a best of compilation. I have done runs with all four characters for both of these levels. I'm taking snippets of the best runs that I found. And, uh, yeah. I, I'm gonna cut out going to the Duke because it won't matter because we're changing characters every single time. So just, uh, just run with it. Ice. This is where they get experimental and weird. Experimental and weird? We've already dealt with small zombies, but now they have small lichens. Small lichens. Oh, baby lichens! They're harder to hit. So that's how they make it a little harder. We represent the Lichen Pop Guild! The Lichen Pop Guild! The Lichen Pop Guild! <laughs> I can't wait till we get to the Bloody River. It's such a mean level, but that's, it's so fun. I thought you were going to say, I can't wait till we get to Oz. Really? They actually... <gasps> we did it! <laughs> the crossover everyone's been waiting for. Resident Evil and the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> what? Yay. 
can't even imagine that, actually. No, I, I wouldn't like it either. I, no. The, the only thing that the Wizard of Oz and Resident Evil have in common is that they're both in color. I can have characters in, in the Wizard of Oz, but not like an actual Resident Evil plot. Oh, Lord, no. Uh, well, I mean, what was the Wicked Witch up to? So, well, if you if you go by Wicked's story, she Complete was actually de deeply misunderstood. I've seen Wicked before. It was an experience. Was it a good one? It was alright. It was fun watching it in, uh, on, on an actual stage. By the way, two Urias. Uh? Just here to say hi. You hear them? Are they behind you? There's two of them. Best part is, they have friendly fire. So they can actually <laughs> hurt, they can hurt one another. Yeah, shoot them right in the, in the balls. Dude, yeah, there ow! we go. They killed them. <laughs> Kyle, why? <laughs> Sorry, Fred. Oh, God, I killed Fred. All right, so we can go straight to the goal, or we can uh, kill everything. I say we kill everything. Well, you're the one in charge. Ethan's bloodthirsty. But uh, we have a little mini versions of everything. Look at the miniatures. <laughs> Get him! Ow! By the way, they're also faster when they're mini, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I think I know what happened. One of the devs was playing Minecraft where they saw the baby zombies, yeah. and he's like, I got it. I got it, guys. I got it, baby. So if they just took the model and just scaled it down... Exactly! It, it probably didn't take any, uh... Am I to believe that they did, They went the other way, too, and scaled them up? Only for big zombies. There are only big zombies. Like, I don't know, I feel like it'd be fun if we just had, like, you know, lichens where they're, like, twice their size. I mean, it, it doubled the hit points for the, for the zombie, but uh, I don't think I'd like that. It'd probably kill too many full combos. I gotta get the scores, man. The high scores. Hey, open up. Okay, bye. <laughs> there we go. Full combo plus 50k. So are the enemies tough? Eh, a little. <laughs> <laughs> Just step on them. <laughs> Alright, next. I believe this is, uh... Oh, it's Lady D. It's Chris Redfin. Ooh, oh. what's he doing? <laughs> Putting on the lipstick and he grew, like, an extra five feet. What happened? Am I pretty? <laughs> Got the platform heels, I got the lipstick! <laughs> oh my god, I'm almost at full thrill. I can almost, uh, I can summon a daughter now, wow. I am ready to live my life as Claire Redfield now. I am. I will. <laughs> Have you ever seen Claire and Chris in the same room at the same time? Yes. Really? Yeah. Well, Co Code Veronica. Oh. Non-canon! <laughs> the game that everybody wants remade for some reason. I mean, it was fun, but it was kind of like a... Kind of like a side story. I don't know if I'd actually want it back. Well, I think they want it now because if they if they took Resident Evil Four, an already great game, and made it into an even better game, what, you know, what could they do if they take a somewhat decent game and make it even better? They could probably make the Ashfords actually threatening. Or it could be like Resi Three. You always got to think of what if. Again, not like Resident Evil was like all that bad, was it? Just, lackluster. Just, yeah, okay, that's fine. I'll take lackluster over bad anyway. I will say, uh, I, I've mentioned this before in a video, but my God, Capcom gets away with a lot of very intricate death scenes that have I've never seen th these gruesome of deaths in my old Resident Evil games. Jesus Christ! What do you mean? Uh, well, uh, for example, seeing all the gory details when your character dies before seeing that game over screen. Uh, they got more detailed with the, uh, with the new engines. I thought Resi 2 would certainly, uh, step up in the gore department. Yeah, Resident Evil 3 has some really fucked up ones. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I remember one, there's one where you have to start a goddamn car to get away from Nemesis, and if you're not fast enough, a tentacle comes through the back of your neck, up through your mouth. And then you're just fucking dead. Huh, well. I was like, oh, no! That is uh, moderately unpleasant. Mm-hmm. And then there's also the uh, lovely ending where if you don't uh, shoot fast enough, you get a knife straight in your forehead. And then you're just dead. I know these don't sound like much, but uh, the sound design does a, does a lot for it. As in, like, gurgling and... Oh, the gur... Yeah. I was like, Ugh. Sound design definitely okay. does it. Okay, you win. I think that's why Mortal Kombat isn't, you know, their fatalities, gory and gruesome and ridiculous as they are, 
you know, they're easier to watch most of the time. There's a few that still get me like, Ew. there's there's some in Mortal Kombat 10 that are like, Ugh. Ugh. but it's always just the, the same, you know, three shots. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! You know, that kind of thing. Okay, so Chris had the best run of this third section, and this is the last section of the uh, of the entire stage. I don't know what I was on. Maybe I was on the same stuff that Chris is, but my god, this run went beautifully. Let's go ahead and uh, take these guys out. And then I remembered... Oh, yeah, machine gun. Kill quickly, machine gun, fire, bang, bang, pew, pew. Also, grenade. See those three? Fuck them. All three of them oh. gone. And that's when I was like, okay, yeah, this run's going really well. This is the run. This is it. World record pace. Let's go. Let's see. What else can we get for Chris? After attacking with the left hook, a shot from the gun deals extra damage. Are you kidding me? They could just make me even stronger. Uh, they do throw a lot more evil enemies your way. Like, there's a lot of soldats around an armored one. So, this is a run killer, if I've ever seen one in hardcore. This is just insanely mean, especially with Ethan. Everyone else has a, a little bit of a better time. Especially Super Saiyan Chris here. Come Oh, already gone. Okay, look, wait, I, 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 wait, I can explain, I can explain, I can explain. Wait, no, I, no, I, I, I was here to, I was here to help you! Wait, you stunned me with a punch! <laughs> that punch stun is so goddamn funny. And uh, I should also mention for Chris, his energize ability or his onslaught actually made it to RE verse. That's how good it is. Jeez. Now I can't wait for RE9. I really want to talk about RE verse because there's a reason we did mercenaries before we talked about the multiplayer of Resident Evil Village. I, I still haven't played RE verse yet. Uh, well, it's a dead game. Better hurry. Before it gets, like... It's, it's dying forever. Yeah. I mean, it's not, like, shutting down or anything. It's just the fact that nobody's playing it anymore. The highest amount of players it had was the day it came out. And then it, like, steadily dropped off the map. You know, I should do a test. I should see what's more dead. Umbrella Core or r Reverse. I'll do that experiment with you. I've yeah. got both. Let's go, mate. <laughs> Let's play some Resident Evil Online and with the no one that still play. You never know. You never, you never know. This is so mean, by the way. They give you the uh, Urius that Chris had to fight. He's just dead in one shot if you have a target locator. So there we go. I am here to rain. <laughs> yeah, this is the power of that target locator. There's actually a pig back here that died because of that explosion. <laughs> the area of effect is ungodly powerful. And this is another example of a huge boss that you're supposed to take out. And then they, you know, summon zombies to keep your combo alive. But if you kill him too fast, you just have to wait for them to spawn. I like how uh, they still, you can still get your combo going even if you kill them immediately. Mm -hmm. Gotta get a little creative, got a little... Gotta improvise a little bit. Keep, keep a cool head and all that. That's actually why that pig's there, by the way. So just in case zombies haven't spawned, you can run over there, kill them real quick. All the animals that, <laughs> you, all the animals that you kill give you 10,000 gold, by the way. So Jeez. really big money. All right, the Pe Bloody River. Peter would have a fit. Oh, the Bloody River. This is the hardest level for everyone because of how it starts. This is stupid how it starts. So you're coming up here. If mm -hmm. you're playing on hardcore, all these archers have already shot at you and taken your health down to danger. <laughs> but also, there's a crystal beast here when you barely have any upgrades. Okay, so this is the game saying, all right, this is, this is it for Resident Evil Village. As a, as a fond farewell, here is the hardest thing we can give you. Correct. And it, it gets harder. Trust me, trying to keep that full combo alive is extremely difficult. Now, again, if you're playing hardcore mode, they go a little easier on you when you're trying to get a single S, because that's... Uh, you need at least one double S to help you get the lightsaber in both normal and hard, but for to get the uh, statues at the end, you need an S with every character on every level. They go a little easy on you in hardcore, because you need less points, but that... Uh, the enemies are kind of bullshit. <laughs> and then, of course, Mr. Ethan only packing a pistol to hardcore mode. I think that's what I like about, uh... Like, ever since, like, RE2 Remake, for the... getting S ranks on different difficulty levels, the stipulations change for it. Yeah... Like, if you want to finish, you know, get an S rank in an easier difficulty, well, you gotta do it in four hours, but if you want to do it in hard mode, well, we'll give you about five. Five and a half, maybe. 
You know, I actually haven't gone back to get better ranks in any of the Resident Evil games yet. I think I'll save that for LP territory. Now, this is where hard mode goes from hard to impossible for Ethan. Three Jet Soldats, and I took a look at somebody's run. Uh, they were playing on PC, which means they had perfect accuracy. But they did a special technique where you duck and shoot them. Ooh, really? That is actually a great technique. I had never thought of that before. What's that do? It makes it so that they can't hit you if they're coming straight towards you. And then you can shoot them in their weak point if you're a better aim than I am. I'm, I have terrible aim on controller, so... Yeah, don't take advice from me, but just know that you can do that. Hmm. Three pigs. Oink, oink, oink. Three shots apiece. Now I'm going to go back and get those power-ups because there are two of them up above. But I wanted to keep the combo going. You better hurry. Yeah. Here we go. We've only got five and a half minutes to get both of them. One. What we got? Adrenaline? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I'll go ahead and change that to Agile. Fickle shooter. Uh, well, I mean, I, mean, I could... Well, mm. although... Wait, no, wait, maybe I'll... Sh I mean, I could, but... Well... One small uh, detail that I think is actually a glitch is when you are in an item menu, your timer actually does not tick down for your combo. But it flashes as though it is. So hmm. just know that you you can take all the time you need to select the power-up you want. It's not actually ticking down in your combo. Maybe they're on, like, separate timers. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm thinking. They just don't coincide with one another. The, the actual timer has been stopped, but the timer for the animation has not. Mm -hmm. Alright, Heisenberg's time to shine. This run went ungodly smooth. And it's all because of his power. <laughs> Summon a soul that, you know, <laughs> hey, come here. There, get out of here. Don't, oh, a jet? Don't, come don't. here. <laughs> I, I, that power is just so much fun. It's just like, hey, come here. So you pull them over here and then just kind of donk someone ahead a couple of times and that kills them. I know, it's so cool. And even in hard mode, it does pretty decent damage. I mean, even though enemies are spongier, they're still getting hurt. They're still dying. Please? Okay, all right. Yeah, so uh, getting that charge on your hammer is actually somewhat paramount to dealing damage quickly. Let's go ahead and see if I can't get another speed up. Oh, electromagnetic boost, don't mind if I do. And here's... Uh, it's, this isn't exactly where I found out that this whole thing's a puzzle and they strategically place enemies, but that one is placed to keep your combo going, specifically. Oh, hey, how much does the charged hammer do in damage? Enough to kill a troll with one shot. 10,000! Awesome. 10,000 points. Nice. Go ahead and bring you guys closer. <laughs> it's so funny every time! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. These guys are big sacks of hit points, unfortunately. Come here. There we go. Alright, quickly. I'm like MC time. Hammer, except I'm actually gangster! There's a bird up here. Bird. Got it. It's dead now. It is a dead bird. Hey, come here. <laughs> come here. I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you this great joke. Alright, get out of here. I heard a rumor! <laughs> Dude, I got some gossip. Go here! <laughs> and here's why I thought Heisenberg would play really well in this level. You got a couple of uh, uh, flaming zombies, so go ahead and kill them all. But your last enemy is Stern. And this is what I should have shown you when fighting with Heisenberg the first time. Sturm, come here. Alright, later. Oh. Hey, by the way, come here! You can oh. pull Sturm! Boom! Gone. I am your creator. You will do as I say. There we go, we did it. 13 minutes still on the clock. All brawn, no brainer. Heisenberg in a nutshell. <laughs> There's nothing up there except clanking nuts and bolts. Clear. And the soul of a great man. I almost want to think that Heisenberg set up this whole mercenaries thing. It's like, and the winner is uh, oh, Carl Heisenberg. Oh, what oh, are the odds? <laughs> imagine that. 
The award goes to me. Thank you, me. me. I'd like to thank me, me and myself and I for this wonderful trophy. Thank you. You've all so, been a wonderful audience. So this is why Moreau isn't in Mercenaries. <laughs> He's a boss. This is another example of boss in Big Arena take plenty of time to kill boss while also killing all the other enemies. Nah. That was supposed to be my big break! There was one run I was doing as Ethan in hardcore mode where I was doing so well, and this is actually where I rage quit. I was so close to getting to the last part of this stage. I was on pace for that S that I needed to get the statues. And Moreau somehow caught up to me, spewed goo, and killed me in two shots. So angry. Oh, hi. Oh, they did uh, do that where they scaled them up. Mm -hmm. Just these guys. Just these guys. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty much the best scenario for where the pistol is involved. Even if you don't upgrade it, if you use your onslaught, it becomes a viable weapon. It becomes fantastic. Yeah, quick uh, damage if you get your DPS going. Yep. And there we go. That's that stage. Moreau, surprisingly, was the biggest threat, even though he died fourth. <laughs> just, just hearing a <laughs> off in the distance. <laughs> I, I can hear him now. <laughs> this is my favorite stage. Oh, really? Out of all of them. Best for last? 100 enemies. Oh, whoa. Depending on who you're playing, they load you up for war right here. But if you're playing as overpowered characters like Heisenberg or Dimitrescu, you only get a couple healing items, maybe a couple flash grenades. Okay, open the door and just say, go crazy, my Go Lord. crazy. And yes, this, is, this part is extremely fun, especially when routing it out to try and figure out how to kill all the enemies fast enough and with while keeping your combo. There are about 15 enemies per room, ending with a, uh, a pretty surprising fight in the last room where the goal is. Oh, don't, uh, keep me in suspense, please. We'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Leno last night. It's great. Leno? <laughs> you think Lady D's watching Leno? Well, I think she's kind of behind on her late night talk show. She's. Well, you know, I think uh, we'll invite Lady D. Trench in, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna interview her. And uh, I really like uh, the, the tall lady. You know? That is my impression of Jay Leno, and uh, it will never happen again. I promise. That's uh, canon now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Jay Leno. <laughs> Slam. Uh, welcome to the jail. Come on and slam. Just date you want a jail. I, I mean, she's got her cigarette in her other hand, so she just like picks him up and just. I do like that Heisenberg and Dimitrescu have idol animations. She examines her nails. Heisenberg takes a toke of the cigar. It's great. <laughs> All right, how many are left here? There goes him. And there goes him. So now, if you come over here, a couple guys here, and then there's a special power up in here. You can get it just in, in just enough time to uh, make other enemies spawn here. So take them all out, and then after you kill all the small zombies in here, an enemy to help your combo appears right here. Oh, 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 oh. You, you shouldn't have done that. Sorry, mate. I thought I'd get the jump on you! And then up here, there's plenty of lichens that you can take care of to keep the combo going. Another thing that the daughters can do, actually, is while they're attacking, the bugs actually blind enemies that are close to them. So you can get some free shots oh, in. Oh, the bugs burrow into their eyes! Oh! oh! I don't want to think about that, mate! I don't like it! It's a horror game, what do you expect? Oh, I, I know, you know, we saw bugs coming out of Ethan's hands. Scary things? Hang on, hold the phone! Hold on here, I didn't ask for this! What'd they do to that baby? <laughs> oh, they, they, they drawn and quartered her? What? No, just cut her into four pieces. No, it's fine. Just, just simple, just... Mm -hmm. That's yeah, all. As easy as that. Yeah. yeah. 
Ooh, there we go. Blood sacrifice. There we go. We are... We are halfway done with this segment, and it's only been like a couple of minutes. It's so much fun to just blast through all these enemies. Uh, yes. Dummy Tresk going through her castle, slashing up all the lichens, also known as her morning calisthenics. I'd see that. Like, I can, I can see her just, like, you know, summon a few lichens and just go to town. Just be like, need to make sure the nails are still sharp, you know. Mother you know. Miranda's not happy. Well, you know... So this is good research for Heisenberg and his sold-out unit. <laughs> Just seem to fall over pretty easily. <laughs> They're working on that balancing uh, algorithm. I can just imagine Model 1 where they just... Eh. <laughs> yeah, she just like pushes them. She's like, I can't get off! Mm. Gotta write that down. Yeah, de defect. Uh, fallen and can't get up. Need life alert. Ah! He was mid-swing and just... Nope, nope. <laughs> They don't even struggle, it's just... Well. <laughs> <laughs> the overpowered nature of Dimitrescu's like, like slam. You like you picked up a cat by the nape, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> where's, the, where's the enemy attacking me? I know there's one around here. Oh, there you are. Hey, come here. <laughs> Let me pick you up. <laughs> slam you on the ground, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so I think around this point there's... 75 enemies is what you should be at by the time you're leaving. 74. 74. Oh, right. The 75th one is actually outside the door to keep your combo going. So I tried to get it, and the bugs missed. So, unfortunately, my combo is going to go away, but uh, no! I think it'll be fine. Ruined! Yeah, no, ruined! It ran into the wall. God damn it. Well, that's okay. Uh, ooh, yes. So, in hardcore mode, you can actually hold up in that room and take pot shots at enemies because there are so many archers out here. They, they could just get, kill you on on sight. One shot down oh. to danger. It is maddening. But everyone else, yeah, you just come out with a, you know, fists uh, ready to attack. Extremely easy to take out. How did the bugs miss their swarm? I, I don't know. I, I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> hey guys, you think we should have got that thing that she threw us at? No, we got this. I'm just gonna go nibble on this corpse. No, 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 I really think we should have gotten that thing back there. It's all right. What's she gonna do? Kill us? Uh, uh oh. And then you just hear zapping from the other room. All right. Three, three enemies left. All three daughters at the same time. Guess what? Mother, we want an allowance. Fuck you. All three of them gone. Oh, wait, almost. Almost. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. They're all gone. Mother, we demand to have a curfew time. That's <laughs> a table, mother. Good job. You did it. Wait, her daughter's killed her daughter. Yep. Wait. Hang, good, hang good, on. Good job. Wait, 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 wait. What? Hang, hang on. Familicide, I think. Wait, but. She... And ooh, look at that lovely score. Triple yeah! S to end it. Woo! Two, three, four, five. Seven, six, five. That is actually a better score than I had for Bloody River. I actually maxed out triple S's by the time I was done with this. Wow, what a time. We'll see you next time for the hard stages now. Fuck that! Because I know you've gotten triple S's on all those, right? No! Oh, well, come on, Niskel, you you're the best. Right no right triple there. S's. Fuck that! Hardcore mode is too fucking hard. That is hard. But you did <sighs> do it. I thought I was just making a joke. I did get everything. I was making a jest, but you actually did it, you mm -hmm. mad bastard. Yay. Oh, good God. So, now that we're done with mercenaries, one bonus left. Next time on Resident Evil Village, we will be looking at RE-verse. We're taking a look at the multiplayer. Oh boy. Taking a look at a dead game. I figured we'd look at a fun game before we're looking at a fucking dead game. Do you think maybe I should give it a test myself, perhaps? If you want to. Yeah, it's I'd... either that or you could just watch my footage and realize you're not missing it, literally anything. Maybe I could see if any, there's any differences. You know, my experience differed from yours somehow. Uh, we'll That's... see. All right. Let's see if I can be asked to do it, though. Uh, I don't know, because I streamed it when it first came out, and it was almost a dead game then, too. It was dead when it came out? Uh, almost dead on arrival. There were a few games I was able to play, and I got the VODs to, to show that we were playing it and having a, Legitimately having a fun time, I just wish there was more love put into it, and more effort, and, uh... But they took a whole year to make it, though. Uh, it doesn't mean it came out good. Aww. <laughs> well, we'll take a look at it in depth next time. See you then.